night that Christ was arrested, this disciple cut off the ear of a Roman soldier. And I think that's another reason why I like Peter, for his flaws. Because I'm convinced if Peter was around today, he'd be playing football or he'd be coaching football. Because he was impulsive, he had anger, but he also had passion, deep passion. The night that Christ was arrested, he cut off a, a, a Roman soldier's ear. After Christ goes into custody, there's crowds in the town because they're about to celebrate Passover. Peter is, he's, he is, uh, three different, on three different occasions, he's approached and asked, weren't you with Christ, the guy they just arrested? Weren't you with him? The first time, he kind of blows it off and says, no, no, that wasn't me. By the end of the night, Peter's anger gets to the point where he's cursing. Basically, he's telling him, I don't know this guy. I don't know what you're talking about. He was a hypocrite that night. He wasn't bold. He lacked courage. That's where Peter started. Later on, after the death of Christ, Peter was forgiven by Christ, like we all are, fortunately enough. And Peter, that name, is the rock, the foundation. If any of you go to church, your church can be traced back to Peter. Peter is the start of all of our Christian faith. Peter went from that moment, started spreading the gospel, started preaching all through Rome, all of their territories, <coughs> At that time in history, Rome was the most powerful nation in the world. They were all the superpowers of today wrapped into one. And there's one thing that Rome didn't like, and that was Christians. They started feeding them to lions. They started burning them alive. And one of their favorite form of torture was crucifixion, which is what they did to Christ. Eventually, they got to Peter. This is years after the death of Christ. They got to Peter, and they approached Peter, and they said, you're preaching about Christ. But Peter had grown. Peter was bold. He didn't deny. He didn't say, I don't know this guy. He didn't curse at people. He said, not only do I know him, I'm preaching the news, and I'm not stopping. So they said, if you don't stop, we're going to crucify you. His response was, I'm not worthy of that, because that's how my God was put to death. Instead of crucifying me, hang me upside down and crucify me. That's where his boldness went to. If any of you ever want to be held upside down for five minutes, it's horrendous. Five minutes, and I guarantee you'll be begging for mercy. When all that blood rushes to your head, it is uncontrollable pain. And that's how Peter liked to be put to death for what he believed in and for what he knew was the right thing to do. Now that's a grand scale. That's a life decision. And it's the right decision. How does that translate to what we have here tonight? I've told you since we've been together, every game is a life. Every football game we play is a life. Are you going to take the first step towards boldness and if you are being bold, are you going to grow in your boldness and refuse to have a lack of focus? Refuse not to do the right thing. Refuse not to give 100% effort. Because that's what boldness is all about. When you're out there tonight, or you're on the sideline tonight, or wherever you're at during this football game, you should be focused on the job at hand. You should be making sure the Wyandotte Bears are in the best position possible for victory, regardless of where you're at, regardless of what you're doing. So that when you get approached tonight, you're not going to curse either verbally or inside and say, I don't know this guy. You're going to say, you know what, hang me upside down. I'm willing to give it all. I'm willing to be bold. I'm willing to say that tonight, why not bears are one. <clears throat> Grow in your boldness. Grow in your boldness. Because where you're at right now is not where you're going to end up. Just like Peter. 
Where Peter started is not where he ended. And that's not where we're ending, because right now, just this season alone, we're halfway on our journey. Halfway. We gotta get a heck of a lot better by we get down to the first victory than we did the 14th March of, of ours. And that's just one year. This boldness continues. It continues beyond the season. It continues for next year for you guys that are coming back. It continues for the seniors in their pursuit of college or whatever career choice they make. It continues into your marriage. It continues into your fatherhood. It continues. Take a step tonight. You're on a stage. You're in control. Make the right choices. Be bold at all times. Are you gentlemen ready to be bold tonight? Yes, coach. I believe you are. I truly believe you are. We love you. Come on. Take me, David. Get in here tight. Love everyone. Let's go. Bold on three. One, two, three. Bold.